Hey everyone, welcome back to Sovereign Chill. He's Lewis. And you are Gabe. We are back with another episode in the hugely, amazingly addictive Band of Brothers. Mm -hmm. um, are you enjoying it? Oh, I'm loving it. Yeah. This is going to be a good one. Uh, episode 3, Quarantan. So what's been your favourite part so far? I mean, obviously I know it's, the, it's, it's, it's a very difficult subject, being the war. Um, especially this war as well. Mm. So it's, with regards to the show, what's been, I mean, the last last episode was where they took the guns mm -hmm. at Breakout Manor. Um, we've also had the, the D-Day landing. Mm -hmm. So what's been like the, the standout bit? I mean, just like seeing them just like go through the like training. The, the training. Ah, I like the training as well. The training's very good. Um, Curry. Yeah. Eating lots of spaghetti and spewing it up. Mm -hmm. Like seeing how they train and that, it's like, it's, yeah, that's good. But seeing them also like go through the trenches, mm. that part, yeah, that, that was, was really good. Yeah, um, it was a good episode, the last one, especially Breakout Manor, yeah, uh, where they had to destroy the guns and, yeah, you know, Winders got promoted and they got the um, the the location of a lot of the guns. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is, it's it's been amazing. It's been amazing to watch again with Lewis so far. Yeah. Uh, I know this episode's a good one, so I'm hoping he enjoys it. Are you looking forward to it? Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, if you uh, enjoy the channel, you can hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Um, and also, we will uh, put the full length reactions over on the Patreon if you want to watch the full length stuff with us. We'll leave a link below. But in the meantime, let's do this. Mm -hmm. What a show. It's a really good show. I mean, it's like hard to pick up the names. See, I found sometimes. that quite easy. I was quite fortunate. I mean, I'm I'm pretty good at doing that. Um, obviously, I picked up on I picked up Winters, and then I got Bill because Bill went bananas with his machine gun. Karen Tan. Yeah. Already on episode three. I know. I never thought I'd get through D Day. I thought I was going to get killed instantly. Quick death come through probably without a scratch. I think everybody had fear. Wow. I think uh, there's people that can handle fear. And you would not let your comrades or your unit down. We all had fear. You try to handle your fear and and work, accomplish what you're supposed to be doing. Your mission. Four days after. Hey, Blythe. <laughs> Thought that was you. First familiar faces I've seen. They dropped us all over the Cantan Peninsula. I had to drop them everywhere, didn't I? Mm. Oh, I've been uh, trying to find easy. Join the club. Well, you decided to show. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> get a load of this, nice, huh? You like that? My leader is gonna put you all to shame when I get it. <laughs> Got any souvenirs to trade? They're all ticking. Oh. Unlike their previous owners. Got anything good? Unlike their previous owners. Jeez. They think the plane went down. They say he's gonna turn up. Easy's moving out! On your feet! Welsh. Stand up! Up! Here we go! He's not acting right. Soon, I want light and noise discipline from here on. So where are we headed to, Lieutenant? Huh? Taking Carantan. That sounds like fun. So we take Carantan, they're stuck on the sand. Three days <laughs> and three nights of hot fighting, and you will be relieved. Yeah. Shake a leg. Straight in. Mm -hmm. No messing about, is there? No. Love it. Oh, hand mm -hmm. up in the air with no fingers. It's like dehumanized now. They're not thinking that it's a body. They're just like, get some wedge. We lost that company, sir. Again? Company in front let us kept going. Flash. Thunder. I can hear y'all all the way across the field. <laughs> you have company. That's right. I'll figure out where these yokels are at. Hey, what y'all calling a yokel? <laughs> a yokel? Oh. Dead private. I thought he. I thought he had me. That's Edelweiss. 
That only grows uh, in the Alps above the tree line. It's supposed to be the mark of a true soldier. Oh. That a Rooney. Mm, yeah. Edelweiss. Hmm. I wanted to take the first, straight up the middle, hard and fast. We have to... Go, go, go. Running in. Oh, yeah. There it oh. goes. Uh, is that the, the hat to run in? Jesus. Jesus, man. Dude. Just kicking everybody, saying, hurry up. Oh. Took a grenade. Oh. oh. Right up a whip. Shot straight in the head. Oh, oh, yes. Shot him straight in the head. Okay, Run. Oh. oh. Attack that bitch. Jesus. You'd just be shitting yourself. Yeah. Go! Oh. Oh wow. Mm. What a visual that was. Holy shit. They were just going to throw the grenade through and instead he kicked Jesus. the door. Ooh, oh, that would have blown all of them up. Mm -hmm. Like blown mm. off. Stop looking out of his ears. Oh. oh. You're okay, Lynn. Everything's right where it should be. <laughs> yeah, you're not missing your balls. Basically, what he's saying. Deafened. Joe? Yeah, they're doing that with the sound. Yeah, I know. I was just about to mention that. You've got to sit down. The sound. <gasps> my god, your fucking face blown off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my fucking god. He's had his fucking legs and feet. Oh, my god. <laughs> Brutal, that like. Mourn them down. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you heard that? Ah, uh, yep. Mr. Ricochet. You just caught a piece of it. Stupid. We got a plan, Chief. Well, we expect a counter attack. Oh, that last stone right in your mm -hmm. shin. Under the. Ah. Uh. We're not waiting around to find out. The Italian wants us to head east toward high ground, set up a defensive position. What's wrong with Blythe? Nothing. Except he can't see. Blythe? It's Lieutenant Winters. Well, things. They just kind of went black on me. 
I think so. I can't see a thing. Dude. I wonder what happened. Will you just take it easy? Jack and he's, uh, he's Chase has just set off his cracker. I think so. I didn't uh, want to let anyone down. Sir. Oh? Yeah, what is it? Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Uh, well, stay here a little while longer, and uh, and make sure. Oh. Yeah, I think he just like mentally broke. Yeah. Dude, wow, cheese tastes like it stinks. Just give me that. Yes, sir. We became <laughs> cheese in a tub. Berlin by Christmas. Out of town, Lieutenant. Already. That's right. Don't they know we're just getting settled here? <sighs> nice, Groucho. I told you, I didn't actually see it. What, Spears shooting the prisoners or the sergeant in his own platoon? Who knows if it's true? And Spears posed those prisoners. Why? What for? On D-Day, under guard and all. He breaks out a pack of smokes, <laughs> passes them out. Then, all of a sudden, he swings up his Thompson, he hoses him. More like 20. Hell of a shot. Let's go! First platoon, weapons on me! <laughs> go, 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 boys! Mm -hmm. nope. like no! That means you, Private Blythe. Yeah, get up. Get up, Blythe, son. That means you, Private Blood. <laughs> high ground. There's high ground up ahead. I'm saying that we're never in the middle. Able to item. Think of it. See there? You see that? Ooh! <laughs> Shit, man. Jesus. You'd be scared though, Howie, you would, wouldn't you? Howie, you'd, mm. you'd be shitting yourself. Flash. Thunder. Cheeky bastard. Hey, Lieutenant. I saw like, World War II was like, one of the first ways that we found out about the signs, like the stages of hypothermia. Mm. It's like how we like started to research it. Yeah. Doc Rowley called it hysterical blindness. Hysterical blindness. Mm. Strength unknown. Strength unknown. If they don't come before then, we're attacking at first light, 0530. I'll tell the men to fix bayonets. Not much of a limp. It's gonna be close quarters. Mm. Shit. I'll survive. How is it? Hurts. War is hell. War is hell. Talbert. What the hell are you doing? That's Talbert. I didn't. God damn. Gosh. Medic! I'm sorry. Did you just bayonet him? Yeah. He looked like a crowd. I didn't know what was happening. Yeah, I can breathe. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah, I can breathe. Can breathe. Okay, I'm just going to get some soap on the wound, Floyd. You're going to be fine. He's walking up. He's just going to out with his bayonet. Stabbed him. Flash. Thunder. Thunder. <laughs> Lieutenant Spears, sir. Some nervous privates in your company. Simple what is, sir. Just do what you have to do. Like you did on Day Day, sir. Oh. Lieutenant. Sir, when I landed on D Day, I found myself in a ditch all by myself. When I woke up, I didn't really try to find my unit. Just went to Kip. Can't see you do that. Mm. You got it safer for the whole of the war. You hid in that ditch because you think there's still hope. The only hope you have is to accept the fact that you're already dead. And the sooner you accept that, the sooner you'll be able to function as a soldier's supposed to function. You're already dead. So just forget about it. No hope. Just You just got to do what you've got to do. Jesus. Already dead. Spears. Machine. That's actually insane. I know. Seeing the way they do it again, like the color saturation. 
Mm. There's like no color. Almost black and white. You know how they can be. <laughs> Fire maneuver. Whoa! Ah! Had to come in. Get that OP in! Tell him to hold. I'm checking the lines. Go! Lock and load! Oh! Sound of the snap. No sign of infantry yet. I'm pulling the OP in. Over. Range 600. Pop that shit, son. Mortar teams were like really important. Fingers, oh. one hanging on by a thread. Come on! You're gonna get me killed, Lieutenant! <laughs> oh shit! You get me killed. You're gonna get me killed, Lieutenant. Oh! oh. oh. Nice. Oh, kneecap. Oh, straight through the knee. Ayaz. Oh, close oh. line by a bullet. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> Payback time. About damn time. How calm he is on there. Mm. Oh. Death everywhere. For breakfast. <laughs> huh. Another massive battle. They've had two separate monster battles in this one. Hey, buddy, you okay? Bye, guy. Chilling, mate. Looks like you fellas had a heck of a fight. Oh, good. I think there's only so much you can do, like a medic can do, if you've been shot in the stomach and you're bleeding yeah. out. Oh, he's tried to save himself. He's tried oh. to. He's tried to plug himself. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yes, you're there to fight the enemy, but and they're trying to kill you. You've got to kill them, but. It's just the reality of it is, it's just a person. They both think they're fighting for the right cause. That's crazy, dude. Inhumane. Mm.
that's what it is. Well, it wasn't like, I mean, got to understand that all Germans knew, they, they, they didn't know about the, the concentration camps and all that. It wasn't, it was the Nazis that did all that stuff. No, it was like the propaganda. Yeah, they so it was like, they didn't know all about that. They were just, they were just following orders. Like, anybody followed orders? They didn't realise it was people, you know, there were the millions of people were getting murdered. And pick them. Need to take a look at that farmhouse. Who wants to go? I'll go. Anybody else? Martin. Just, when you just volunteered. <laughs> you I'll, just I'll, volunteered. I'll... They're not, they're not... Yeah, no one's volunteering, but if you get told you have to, it's an order. Silk. So, figure it'll make a good wedding dress, you know? What with rationing and all? Why? I'm so sentimental. No, that you think we're gonna make it back to England. <laughs> Oh no! Covering fire! Oh! Keep on the down! We need a medic down here! Move, move, coming through. Give me room. They're pulling us off the front line. Oh. To a field camp north of Utah Beach. Oh. Hot food. And showers. Then back to England. Oh, back to England. Harry, what up, son? Yeah, you should. Talk to Colonel Sink. Said he appreciated easy holding the line. Oh. Said General Taylor was pleased. Mm -hmm. That's why I came to France. It is my honor to present you with the Order of the Purple Heart. <laughs> How many does that make? Hey, I got one hole in my shoulder, a second in my calf. Three purple hearts. How to be lanced. Now he only gets one. She give these lads more than just medals. They deserve it. The thing is, they weren't blokes as well. They were just mm. young'uns. If you were like 23, you were like an old, well, old man, like type of thing, compared to some of them. Mm. They were like 19, 20, still like 19, still teenagers. There's still, isn't it funny, there's still towns like that in the UK now. That would just be a normal town, just in the UK. <laughs> yes, boys. The night was filled with dark and cold. When Sergeant Talbot was... <laughs> to check the lines dressed like a crowd. <laughs> Fast asleep, he called his name. Night of the bayonet. The night of the bayonet. Mm. Grabbed his rifle, he did not tarry. Hearing Floyd, but seeing Jerry. <laughs> it's me, cried Tab. Don't do it. And yet, Smith charged too sweet with bayonet. <laughs> and skewered the boy from Kokomo. Ooh. Tab, this is for you. All passes are hereby revoked. <gasps> We're heading back to France. We will not be returning to England, boys. Uh, oh. Will, go to the supply office. Trucks depart from Embry at 0700. As you were. Oh, that's leadership. Oh, out. Got to tell oh. you the bad news. Oh, that's buzz. That was really buzz. Yeah. Would you uh, like a cup of tea? It's <laughs> very British. Very British, yeah. On a cup of tea, mate. <laughs> Lieutenant Mion's one of yours, isn't he? I'll take it. You, um, you couldn't be a dear help me with a few others, could you? <laughs> Sergeant Evans, Private Moyer, Collins, Elliot, Blythe. But lost 65 men. Well, Blythe never recovered from the wounds he received in Normandy and died in 1948. Okay. So, I have to address the... the elephant in that room, so to speak. Um, when Stephen Ambrose was making um, this, I forgot who it was, but they'd said they'd been to a funeral for Blythe in 1948 um and for some reason stephen ambrose who wrote like who put this together and then made the show 
didn't look into it further. He just kind of put forward that Albert Blythe had died. Albert Blythe didn't die. Mm. He actually didn't die. He actually went on to to get up, uh, to be quite a decorated uh, soldier, um, and actually went on for a long time and actually died of old age. So, um, yeah, he was well. You know, after this, he even went on to, to do it with the tours and stuff. So, yeah, it was his family were obviously a little, um, a little shocked, I guess, if when they watched Band of Brothers for the first time to see that, you know, their their beloved father, uncle, brother, whatever that the died. Right? Um, hmm, no, he didn't. Uh, so yeah, I think that's one thing that a lot of people had said to me because when I first watched this show, I obviously thought the same way as Lewis would have. I was like, wow. Um, but yeah, it did turn out that he didn't die. What do you think of that episode? That was insane. Yeah. That was actually really good. One of my favourites. Yeah. Um, yes, I love the Daily London, but um, Carantan was was a great one. Mm. Um, full of full of action. Yeah. What was your favourite part? Probably when Blythe, like, actually, like, he, like, switched on and started fighting. Right, like, and stood up and was just yeah. started firing away because Winters was going, fire your gun. And he pulled the trigger and it kind of went into slow motion. And they just kind of went bananas and started shooting. Yeah. Um, I thought when the, where, when the event, when like initially went in and they were throwing the grenades and um, I think it was uh, uh, Johnny Martin, it might have been. No, I'm not, I don't, I might have been Luz uh, was going to go into the building. Yeah, it was, it was George Luz. He, um, he decided not to to throw the grenade and kick the door open and uh yeah the, the family were in there and just prior they threw the grenade in before that so he kicked and went in i don't know you know i don't know how, how true that is but visually to watch it it was uh quite a big moment because obviously them there were just a family inside not hurting anybody the grenade could have come through the window and you know could have took them all out uh, but it just showed you it was like just like kind of showed you how how easy it would have been I like to take that life, a loss of life, especially with the casualties of, uh, you know, civilians. Civilian casualties were just in insane, absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, I just thought overall, I thought when Tipper, Tipper was coming out from the back of the shop and the, it exploded, mm. and then you saw it like, it kind of like dulled down, and then you could only hear his breathing. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's like you could only hear it. Yeah, you could only kind of the effects is just crazy. Yeah, and then he, you know, he came over and he was just like, "Come on, buddy, you guys, you gotta sit down." Oh my god, yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable uh, episode that one. Very, very powerful. Yeah. Um, but it, it it kind of also tried to highlight how 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 it mentally how it affected people. Um, you know, blindness. Yeah, you know? yeah, like hysterical blindness was that it? Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. That was unbelievable. I was I was just trying to think who it was that went over to Talbot there when he was coming out, but it was Joe Liebgott, wasn't it? Liebgott came went over to him. Okay, that was an another again. Unbelievable. Did you love it? That was amazing, yeah. Yeah. Probably my favourite so yeah. far. Very intense, very kinda of hard hitting, very impactful. What are you finding about the um like how it's shot? Like the camera work. Oh, it's you, amazing. You can see it. why it's ranked so high. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing how it's done. Like when like you saw the shoot and it was like shaking the camera. Mm. It is crackers, people. Crackers. Thank you for watching. Uh if you've enjoyed what you've seen, we'll put a playlist for the other ones that we've seen down there. We'll also whack a subscribe button up there and we'll see you all very, very soon for episode four.